welcome back to another episode or another stream or whatever you guys want to call it i don't care welcome back to another <coughs> shut it <coughs> joking for some reason all right in the last episode we just had time of our lives with the water monster oh you have an ascending room will it take us to the inner sanctum it will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. All right. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Well, yes, I don't know if I want to ride the elevator right now. Well. There's a lot it of stuff It takes you to the explore. gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. All right. Can I say more words, or can I go ahead and pull the lever? Oh. Wrong lever! Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop. I love Disney movies. Although I've never seen that one. And I know there is another door over there. But, Frank, okay, you know what? I'll just go in there. Why not? Why not? It's locked. Well, good for me. Alright, well, up or that way. You know, last time I picked that way, I'll go up first this time. Why not? Guess where, eh? But then Cole was brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it is the kind of cruel something. Oh, another flashback. My journal, go, my journal. This place is a mess. Eat it. Daniel, clean your room. Uh, my former self, clean this darn freaking room. I order you. And there is some oil. How much oil do I have? I'm fine. For once, I'm fine. Second of Everything July, is just 1849. fine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Aww. What a nice friend. I don't care. Alright. The only thing I care is my let down of them, whatever, however you pronounce it. That's all I care about. Because that's all I need. That cockroach! I totally missed. Because that's how I am. Get out of the way, chair! I just need my tinder boxes and my crowbar. Ooh, another journal. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs <coughs> house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. 
If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Huh. Maybe there's more than one orb, maybe? Uh, I'm not the expert. Sir. Nothing. You drawer were completely worthless. I hope you're happy. Unlike top of the fireplace, it is nice enough to give me a little soap, so oh hello for you. Oh a bunny rabbit, huh? Oh, so cute. Let me get a good look at you. Ah, ugly. Get out of here. Alright. Well, good thing I have a, a crowbar in your face. Ah, yeah. Heck yeah. The key. Please, let it be here. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Maybe. So, a key? <laughs> Place to hide? Well, this closet seems alright. I just walked in here. I don't even know that's what I was supposed to do. Oh my god, he's like right out there. Oh my god. I've seen some custom stories, but I still don't remember. I still don't remember some of the monsters and how they look. Uh, the only one I remember very uh, much so is uh, it's the one with the oh, oh broken jaw. Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. I'm so weird, I can't break a glass. Alright, fine. Jump on the glass. Give me that key. The machine room key, you say? Okay. Well, I guess we now know what to do. That Get it through the book of monarchs looking for etching county counted okay. yeah like also what the? oh hi were you one of the figures of the monster god well <laughs> you can survive like me i'm a liver Uh, one of my friends who was, uh, watching, uh, study uh, he the last episode, I was, when I was being chased by that stupid water monster, <laughs> I was saying, I'm a liver, I'm a liver, as a, like, saying, I, I'm, I'm a person who lives, but he thought I was saying the N-word, which is another reason why I need a better mic, this is not my best mic. At all. Okay. Was there a reason for coming in here? Was there a reason for coming into the study hall? Could be a free supplies, maybe. 
Oh man, I really, I really like the feel of this game. I really do. I really do. I think it's very cool. And it is an old game, but it has aged well. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh no. I don't want to read that. Ah, oh, okay. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 year, 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Helian Dromas described it in the Hordus Conclusus. It was as it was told about. An underground Mithraic temple crowned with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big. Enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artifact paradox captured with stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Ostadit, investigating one of the intricate and Antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the ore from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I, I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon cement fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I was spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running into bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the, as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. It could no ore for me, but still when it took this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been a nearly a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about this incident. The last time we spoke, you told me. Last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and in ongoing research into the mythical orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Anstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Canolas Agrippa. Okay. Now there's a lot of reading, but that is interesting. I, I know I said I don't want to read it, but in reality, I want to know as much of a story in the game as possible. So I will read it. Uh, I just ran into a wall. What kind of idiot am I? Ooh, oil. Well. 
Okay, so do I have to break it? How much of an oil? Ah, might as well fill it while I can. Let me guess. Yeah, that's what I thought, so. But the window leading to nothingness? How can that be helpful? Oh my god. Oh no! Have to offer. Oh. oh my god. Just getting a freaking dog. What a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can I sense done it. it. It's definitely there. What are you looking for? What can you possibly find? In a dog that you would need. Besides something that he ate that you need it, but you can just wait until it passes on naturally. Oh my god, there's a lot of rating. Ah. Alright, Canis Lupus Familius. F familiaris. 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the accretion found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain and stress, which seems to trigger an anagnosis. Gino's response causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherited, inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine the, this process for torture to enable any real work to be done. Most experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Well, that's Person. I already don't like this guy. He's getting a freaking dog. Hi, who are you? You, you look good. Alright. January, uh, 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp it the inner workings of life in its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain, since no research has been made in my particular interest. I must attempt to fill that void in, void in myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Alright, this episode has been nothing but reading. <laughs> Which I don't really mind reading. Oh, well. Oh. Hi! Can I pick you up, please? Okay. Tinderbox. Alright. Okay. So. Apparently there's a window that needs to be broken. Broken. Break out my power. Okay, I don't understand. Oh, is it just to get a tinderbox? Or am I supposed to jump across? You know, I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh, oh. A tree broke down. Ew, it's the more fungus or whatever it's called. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Well, look at me go. Hey, oh, wrong button. Hey, it's another one of these. Oh my god. No! Get rid of this! Okay. 
When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind is not even a waste of breath yet, I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who in all it was I who in all fairness should have entered that gate. Okay. Alright now. Yes, please. Ah! Just don't jack crap for me. Oh, get rid of that. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the, adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure, the f make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity Steam Set Functions for Phase Infinite. Complete Steam Flow Cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all the rods are inserted. Okay, so these rods? Yeah, okay. So, nothing really happened this episode except for a lot of reading, which I do uh, not really enjoy doing, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. This is probably one of the most boring episodes that's probably going to be one of the series, but hey, it's all part of it. So, for what it's worth, Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you enjoyed. Oh crap, I just did Nogla's outro. Whoops, sorry, don't hate the Nogla. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I did not Im intend to steal your thing, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this this series so far in this game, because I know I am. And I'll see you next time. See ya. Wrong button. Alright, now see ya.